November 5th, 2013. That's the day that Call of Duty Ghosts was released, and uh, it's kind of weird to be back here six years later. So what's up guys and welcome to Call of Duty Ghosts. You all know that recently we have been replaying through some of the older COD games. It's been a fun time. It's been refreshing. Obviously, you know, over time you forget some of the details and stuff, so it's not quite like playing it new again, but it's still pretty exciting. And um, I, I figured we could keep it going. I don't know. You guys are enjoying it. So hope you're excited for this one. Drop a like if you are. I appreciate your support on this first episode. And um, here we go, man. Let's get into it. We are going to start up a brand new campaign. This game saves data automatically at certain points. Don't turn off the power. Okay, actually, hold on. Give me one second. Let's make sure that subtitles are on. Good thing we checked that. All right, anyway. Let's just go ahead and play it on regular. Looks good to me. It was a different time. Here we go. A different enemy. 60 men from tier one teams were sent to face down a force of 500 enemy fighters. Their objective, to force the enemy back from a civilian hospital and keep its occupants alive. For three days, they held their ground. But the enemy's numbers were too great. The 60 were cut down to 15. They wouldn't last another night, and the enemy knew it. Under the cover of darkness, they evacuated the hospital, sending only one of their own to lead the way. The rest returned to the line and took up positions beneath the bodies of their fallen brothers. As they lay in wait, the blood from the dead poured over them. The sand stuck to their skin like a shroud, changing them, anointing them. When the enemy drew near, the remaining 14 rose out of the desert sand. They were like hunters that couldn't be seen, using stealth their enemies couldn't defend against. When the men ran dry of ammunition, they used their blades. And when the blades ran dull, they used their hands. When the dust and sand had settled, only one of the enemy had survived. He was picked up in the desert, wandering aimlessly, traumatized. He expressed warnings to others of a force so menacing and unbeatable, it could only be described as supernatural. He called them ghosts. What an intro, dude. My goodness. And this really happened. So the legend goes. Come on, Dad. You don't honestly believe that story's true. Yeah, I do. Come on, let's head back to the house. Let's go. Shake a leg. Oh, no tremor there. <laughs> Those things used to freak the hell out of your mother. I don't think that was a tremor, bro. Yeah, we'll get a couple more of them before everything settles down. Wind started to pick up, too. <laughs> Dad, let's just get to the house. Make sure nothing got damaged. Something else at work here. Dad, what's happening? Oh, it's old. To the house, boys. Now! Bro, this would be insane. I don't think it's safe anywhere, brother. Three, two, one, push! 
just a super weapon up in space firing down all kinds of stuff. Couldn't hide anywhere. You couldn't go anywhere. Fifteen minutes earlier. Odin Control, the orbital weapon's got a successful test fire ping. Roger, Mosley. Tracking weapon, dry fire signal. Hey, Baker, here's our ride. Let's head in. Payload, this is Odin Control. Ready to receive. Odin Control, we're heading back to debrief the new crew. Roger. We're prepping airlock C. Shuttle is in final docking sequence. Payload, 10 meters. Begin rotate. This is so cool, dude. Hey, Baker, give me a hand with the unload. Got him! Tar X2, I'll check this Los out. Angeles. Locked. The San Diego. Locked. Phoenix. Locked. Targeting Houston. Locked. Targeting Miami. Locked. Estimated casualties. Oh shit! Over 27 oh, million. They're uploading more targets. Payloads two, three, and four. Houston, what do we do? Odin control. We have no choice. We're scuttling the station. I'm sorry, Mosley. Baker, we need to move. Ten seconds. All crew, get to a secure area. We gotta destroy this whole thing. Three, two, one. At this point, you know that you're gonna die. You can just save as many people as you can by shutting this thing down. 23 degrees port or aft, but remote RCS systems are not responding. 23 degrees. I'll dump that tub in the ocean. This would be so sad, dude.
Will do, man. Well, we just saved tens of millions of lives, so... Can't really think of a better or a worse way to go out. I forgot how insane this campaign was, dude. Where are we going? We got a job. Through here. Ooh. Let's keep going, Ash. Come on. I'm trying to sprint, it keeps canceling the sprint though. Every shake, it like cancels you. What a way to kick things off, dude. Oh my goodness. That was insane. The Federation's rise to power had started years ago. When the great energy-producing deserts were destroyed, the world powers that depended on them collapsed. And in their wake, the Federation began to rise. The Federation united all of South America under one banner and devoured everything in its path as it moved relentlessly to the north. After turning Odin against us, the Federation stood on the doorstep of America, poised for the kill. They thought we were weak, crippled, prey, waiting to be taken. We fought hard. We fought well. We fought them to a bloody stalemate. Here, just beyond the craters of no man's land, we find ourselves in a defensive war against a more powerful enemy. Ten years later. Viking Six, you there? Hesh. Logan. Still working together. Copy. Yeah, we're here. Go ahead. Reports are coming in. Dallas got overrun last night. The command wants another sweep of the wall ASAP. Oh, shit. Any survivors? Negative. Brave New World. <laughs> Aww. What's up, Riley? Use a sleep. Quiet boy. Listen. Hey, Riley's got something. Grab a gear, let's move. The honey badger, dude. Team two, are you near our position? I missed this thing. Negative, we're 
outside. Your voice got something? Riley does. We're checking it now. Raj, we'll secure the exit. Two one out. You got something, boy? Somebody's definitely rummaging around over here. The door on the right. Oh, jeez, dude. <laughs> Guess Riley was getting hungry. You don't want to eat anything out here, boy. Let's head back and eat some real food. 6 1, zip red. Just some local wildlife. We're good. Check. Copy. Yeah, we'll join you. Meet us at the wall. We're on our way out. Rush. There she is. Looking like hell. Still standing. Can't believe they would be able to build that in just 10 years, man. Yo, Sergeant, What's up, boys? your area secure? Just about. You need to sweep this side of the wall and we're good. We'll take the left side. Should go quick. Regroup at the gas station. You got it. Lead the way, Riley. Hey, Riley, come on. Search. You hear that? Someone's out there. Wait for Riley. If he attacks a target, shoot to kill. Drop these guys. Don't touch my dog. I promise it'll hurt way worse. Ready, go. Once I get a hold of you. Ready, stay. Baby recon again. It's five this month already. Two one, we just engaged another Federation recon team. Meet us at Overwatch. We need to regroup now. Check. We're on our way. Good boy, buddy. Nice job. I got one of them, but uh, don't think we saved him in time to save the civvies. He's down. Sounds like we got quite a few on the right. Wow. Yeah, this is a big issue. We're driving soldiers off in helicopters and stuff. This is, uh... The wall's not really working, is it? We shoot the pilots out? The SC-2010? Dude, so many good guns in this game. That's honestly... I feel like the guns in COD are almost like characters, you know what I mean? Like, that's part of the stuff that I miss the most. Like, the, the stories and the actual characters themselves and stuff, but the guns are all so iconic. Throw it back. Got him. We 
gonna have to turn off the leaning. You guys see that? We've got our lean options. What's up, bro? Leaning on you fools. I guess it's not bad in campaign, is it? Where are they at? This way, right up. Logan, grab a launcher. Take care of the birds. We'll cover you. Got it. Easy, boy. Easy. Riley, go. Go get him, bud. Aha, there they are. Good night. Woo! That's a little bit more worrisome of a chopper there. See if he makes a second round. I'm trying. Feel like they aren't really being guided very well. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there it is. You just gotta hold it on it. Okay. They're down. Oh, there's another one. Got him. He's not down yet, though. Whew, there it is. It took three shots. Clear. We're clear. Corporal Davis, you're on transport. Roger, commandeering for transport. Logan, you're on security in the back. Sir, yes, sir. Keep moving. Let's hold this thing down. Los Angeles in the background back here. I guess the wall was working. I didn't realize we were on the outside of it. 20 minutes later in Fort Santa Monica. Holy cow, dude. That's crazy they could get from the LA River to Santa Monica that quick, though. That would take hours in real life with the traffic, but I guess there's no traffic here, huh? Look at Ryan, dude, what a boss. Seriously. Good boy, Riley. We need to get him some treats, Hash. Come on, let's go find the old man. It's a family business, baby. Dad. I heard about the attack. You boys okay? Always. Walk with me. Dad, they're executing civilians. I know. Their recon teams round up scavengers, drifters, hoping to find a way into the city. It's how they took Dallas practically overnight. So how can we help? Dad. Listen, you boys. You're the only thing I've got left in this world. Dad, listen. But you're also the only ones I can trust. Hey, look. Whatever it is, Logan and I, we're ready. You two are going to no man's land. Wait, oh, real? shoot. We've been on the defensive for far too long, so I'm sending you outside the wall. You'll link up with a recon team, gather any intel you can on the enemy, and get your asses back here. So where in no man's land are we going? Somewhere you know better than anyone. You're going home. 